In this video, we will show how the export and import feature works. We're going to be using elements from the BoldCorp demo CC library. In order to show how linking graphics work, we will make an update to the main logo. To do this, we open the logo in the original application, in this case, Illustrator. We're going to be changing the red color into the orange color from the library. After making the changes, we will notice how the changes are reflected in our Photoshop file. The next step is to export the existing library as a .cclips file. You can use this file to change ownership of libraries or archive existing libraries. The exported .cclips file is going to be shown in our desktop. Once we export the library, we can delete the existing library. Once we delete the library, we can see that the library no longer exists in our options. And as soon as we delete the library, we notice that the link graphic shows a badge of a missing asset since the library no longer exists. We're going to reopen the file to show the import experience from launching an application. When you open the file, you are prompt to relink the graphic, but since we don't have the library right now, we can skip this step. The first thing we need to do is to import the Bold Corp demo library that we exported a few minutes ago. As soon as we import the library, the missing graphics badge is gone, and the asset is relinked to the original library asset. Now, we're going to make some changes to the main icon graphic to show that the linking is retained. We're going to change the orange color back into the red color. You see that the linking is retained, and with this we finish the demo of export and import CC libraries feature. Thanks for watching.